Have you ever wanted to be an animal? <laughs> I know I have. When I was really young, five or seven years old, I was yearned to become a cat. Now, to some of you, that may sound silly, but to me, it was the best idea in the world. Cats had finesse, balance, and I thought back then, I could see in the dark. But how could that even be possible? Is there truly a way to become your favorite house pet? The answer is no, you can't become an animal. But what if you could become something like an animal? Is that possible? Well, first we'd have to understand some things about our DNA. In truth, most of the human DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is exactly the same in every person. There are only a few changes in certain parts of our genetic code that makes us who we are. Many animals aren't that different. For example, 98% of a chimpanzee's DNA matches a human's. Even a mouse has 92% DNA that is just like ours. The fact of it is, animal and human DNA aren't that different from each other. The first successful human-animal hybrid was reported in 2003, when Chinese researchers successfully merged human cells with rabbit eggs. After this, scientists in Minnesota developed pigs with human blood to study cures for things like HIV. According to the Center for Bioethics and Human Dignity, the United Kingdom has been making cybrids, or human hybrids. These hybrids are created through a cloning process in which human DNA is put into an animal egg whose nucleus has been taken out and allowed to grow. Unfortunately, these embryos are required to be destroyed after 14 days. So why is that? You see, there are more things to think about than just if this process is possible. For instance, you have the ethical considerations to take in. When in this testing stage, you could seriously disable or injure the people or animals you're testing it on. Also, people can get DNA with a dangerous animal, such as a crocodile or a lion, and then misuse it. They can possibly just get any animal DNA and use it to harm themselves or others for fame or money. For example, what if someone decided that they wanted to get elephant DNA, gross us, and cut them off and sell them for money? In the movie Jurassic Park, where dinosaurs are recreated for entertainment, the character Ian Malcolm says to the owner of the park, yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could that they didn't stop to think if they should. So, yes, with the technology we have now, we most likely could do it. We have already done something like it with injecting human DNA into animals, but we've not yet made humans with animal DNA in them. At the surface, it seems like such a good idea. It would be pretty tempting to be able to jump farther, run faster, or be stronger, wouldn't it? But in a situation like this, I warn you to stop and think about what you could be getting into. There are repercussions for things like these, where you step into the unknown without a great deal of thinking. So, like all great ideas, there is responsibility to be put in there. You must take in what you know, what you don't know, and even what you think you know. You must create a picture in your mind and think about the pros and the cons. In all reality, we could do it. It is now your duty to think about whether we should do it.